Hello, in this video we're going to go over problem B3 from the 2024 Putnam Math Competition. So here is the problem. Let Rn be the nth smallest positive solution to tan of x equals x. And we want to prove some relation between Rn plus 1 and Rn. Essentially, we are trying to approximate Rn. So the first thing that I did is I considered this function and I'm trying to investigate the behavior of this function and the roots of this function. So first of all, this function looks like tangent, but is slightly modified. So the domain is in all real numbers. We have some asymptotes at n pi plus pi over 2. So the graph of tangent looks like this. And we, of course, have asymptotes at negative pi over 2, pi over 2 and then 3 pi over 2, etc. And we're going to have similar asymptotes for this function, but of course the function is slightly modified. Now, what I need to do is first understand the behavior of this function. So let's take the derivative of this function. This would be secant squared minus 1, which is tangent squared of x. And this is greater than or equal to 0. So what does it mean? It means f is strictly increasing because there's really um, a few points that this f prime is 0. It's only isolated points. So it is strictly increasing on the interval n pi minus pi over 2 to n pi plus pi over 2 for every integer n. Now they told us it's the Rn is the nth smallest positive solution. So we'll have to consider n equals 0, 1, 2, etc. So these are, the, these are the numbers that we have to consider. Well, if you look at f of n pi, that gives you tan of n pi minus n pi which is minus n pi. Now, this is always negative except for n equals 0. So for n equals 0, we get f of 0, which is equal to 0. And for everything else, f of n pi is negative if n is greater than 0. So we have one value that the function is negative. So if you look at n pi minus pi over 2 to n pi uh, plus pi over 2, then we have this value. The midpoint here gives you a negative value and we also need to find something that is positive and there, therefore there is a unique solution inside that interval. So now what would be a value that gives you positive? Well, clearly as x goes to uh, n, pi, n pi plus pi over 2, this is tan of x minus x, this approaches infinity as x approaches to n pi plus pi over 2, from the left, which means at some point this becomes positive. That means the nth root of this uh, function is inside this interval. So now we want to show the inequality that they gave us, which is Rn plus 1 uh, minus Rn minus pi is less than 1 over n squared plus n pi and more than 0. So what does it mean? It means if I look at Rn plus 1, it would be greater than Rn plus pi and less than Rn plus pi plus 1 over n squared plus n pi. Now if you look at Rn plus pi, since Rn is inside the interval from n pi to n pi plus pi over 2, if I add pi, I get that this Rn plus uh, pi is inside this interval. So this is the desired interval for Rn plus 1. This is n plus 1 pi and n plus 1 pi plus pi over 2. This is the same interval that Rn plus 1 belongs to. So in other words, f of x is continuous over this interval. So if I show, and this belongs to that, if I show that um, over this interval, this quantity is negative and this quantity is positive, then the root would have to be in between them. So again, we have, um, maybe this is like the midpoint, which is n plus 1 pi. If I show that um, I have rn plus pi, uh, rn plus pi and the value of the function is negative here so this is uh, f of uh, rn plus pi um, rn plus pi if i show that's ne uh, that's negative 
and the other one is positive so the objective is here to show this we need to show these two things we need to show f of rn plus pi is negative and f of rn plus pi plus 1 over n squared plus n pi is positive so this is what we need to show let's look at f of rn plus pi and see what we get this is going to be tangent of rn plus pi minus rn plus pi now tangent of rn plus pi and tangent of rn are the same because uh, tangent has a period of uh, pi so this becomes negative pi which is a negative value so we are clearly um, able to show this inequality so this one is done we need to show the other inequality so we'll plug it into the into the value into the function f so f of rn plus pi plus 1 over n squared plus n pi and see what we get when we get we take the tangent of this we get tangent of rn plus 1 over n squared plus n pi because again tangent has a period of pi and then minus this value which is minus rn minus pi minus 1 over n squared plus n pi now we have tangent of sum so we can write it down in terms of uh, tangent of rn and tangent of 1 over n squared plus n pi using the tangent of uh, uh, sum of angles and this would be tan of rn tan of 1 over uh, n squared plus n pi and then we have minus rn minus pi minus 1 over n squared plus n times pi now we know that rn is a root therefore tan of rn and rn are the same and i'll just keep the other ones because we don't know what those are over 1 minus rn times tan of 1 over n squared plus n pi and i'll keep everything else the same so the objective is to show that this quantity is positive so this is what we need to show this is question mark we don't know that yet so what i did was i said well i can approximate tangent by the angle because the angle is very close to zero this angle is very close to zero so therefore tangent of the angle and the angle and its sign are actually pretty much close to each other they're very close to each other so they're pretty much the same thing and if i do then i'll be able to evaluate this one so now here is how we uh, I proceeded. So f of r n plus pi plus one over n squared plus n pi is going to be greater than. I replace tangent with the value of the phone, value of the angle because in the first quadrant tangent is larger than the angle. So I replaced it with one over n squared plus n pi. And because in the denominator tangent is negated I can also replace it with the angle itself 1 over n squared plus n pi but unfortunately this can only be done if the denominator is positive if the denominator is not positive then dividing by something negative um, creates some problem I have to flip the direction of inequality so let's just assume this is not quite done let's just for now assume that the denominator is positive see if that gives us the solution and then we'll come back and we'll show that the denominator is in fact positive hopefully we can do that okay so this is assuming that this denominator is positive let's uh, clear the denominator so we will get rn times n squared plus n pi minus rn minus pi minus 1 over n squared plus n pi so we would like to show this is positive again none of this have been proved we are trying to prove that we are going to clear the denominator and see what happens we get rn times n squared plus n pi plus one uh, by clearing the denominator and then i'll have to multiply uh, by this uh, denominator so i will get minus rn n squared plus n pi plus rn squared minus n squared plus n pi squared plus r n pi and then minus uh, one and then 
plus Rn over n squared plus n pi. I would have to show this is positive. Let's see what we get. We have these two common terms that disappear. We have one and one that also disappear. And let's see if that inequality is valid. So we'll move the negative term to the other side. So we'll get Rn squared plus Rn pi plus Rn over n squared plus n pi. That is greater than n squared plus n pi squared. Okay, now we know that Rn is greater than n pi. So that gives us n pi times pi. And if we simplify this, we get n squared plus n times pi squared, which is in fact valid. And of course, this quantity is positive. So that completes the proof, except we need to show that that denominator is in fact positive. So we need to show that 1 minus Rn tan of 1 over n squared plus n pi is positive. Well, because this is approximately 1 over n squared plus n pi, and this one is approximately n pi, and this one is linear, this one is quadratic, I knew this is going to be true. So let's see if we can prove this. Well, tangent of an angle and this angle is pretty small, so the angle x is, let's say, between 0 and pi over 2. In fact, it is even smaller, so I call this angle x. In that interval, sine of x is less than x, and cosine of x is more than 1 minus x squared over 2. If you look at the Taylor series, Taylor series for sine is x minus x cubed over 3 plus etc., so sine is less than x and cosine is 1 minus x squared over 2 plus x, x to the fourth over 4 factorial minus etc. Cosine is more than um, these two terms. You can prove this one by uh, the Lagrange remainder theorem. So if you take tangent of um, 1 over n squared plus n pi, this is less than 1 over n squared plus n pi, 1 minus 1 over n squared plus n pi, and then we'll have to square that, and then we will have to divide that by 2, so we get this. Uh, we know this, and we also know that Rn is less than n plus 1 half pi, because it was less than n pi plus one half of pi. So this is equal to, so let's see, uh, clear the denominator, we get 2 n squared plus n pi, if I multiply by 2 times uh, n squared plus n squared pi squared, I get 2 n squared plus n squared pi squared, and then minus 1, so I get this. So if I multiply these two, or n times tan of 1 over n squared plus n pi, I would have to show this quantity is less than 1. So I'd have to show this inequality, which means Rn times that tangent is less than 1. So let's multiply and see what we get. This is less than, let's simplify this one. This is 2n plus 1 pi over 2. So this would give, give us uh, the 2's cancel. We get 2n plus 1 times n squared plus n pi squared on top. And at the bottom, we get 2 times n squared plus n squared pi squared minus 1. We want to see if that is less than 1. So that's the objective. If, if this is less than 1, then that would complete our proof. So let's uh, check that out. So let's multiply and see what we get. On top, we get 2n cubed plus 2n squared plus n squared plus n pi squared less than um, clearing the denominator, so 2 times n to the fourth plus 2n cubed plus n squared uh, pi squared minus 1. So let's simplify this. We have n squared and n squared, or rather 2n squared. Uh, that simplifies. And what else do we have in common? We have, let me just write it down, 2n cubed uh, pi squared plus n squared pi squared plus n pi squared is less than 2n to the fourth pi
pi squared plus 4n cubed pi squared minus 1. So we can simplify this one with this one. So we are left with 2n cubed pi squared on the right. We can not simplify these two, but we can keep it as 2n to the fourth pi squared, and that's greater than n squared plus n times pi squared. Okay, and this is clearly um, uh, true, because if you take everything to the same side, you get 2n to the fourth plus 2n cubed minus n squared minus n times pi squared. This quantity is clearly more than 1 because n to the fourth is more than n squared and n cubed is more than n. And therefore, this inequality is valid, which means that completes the solution. Now, there is another way of solving this one. When I got to this uh, denominator, um, initially, in fact, I tried something else. So let's go back and see what the obstacle was. The obstacle was the denominator of Rn times tangent of 1 over n squared plus n pi. That uh, some it seems like maybe sometimes it becomes negative. So we'll have to prove that that's positive. In fact, this first method that I tried was a bit different. I tried to create something that the denominator is not uh, negative. So this is solution number two. So what I did was I tried uh, tangent of Rn plus 1 minus Rn minus pi. And notice that this quantity Rn plus 1 minus Rn minus pi is between 0 and pi over 2. We proved that it is greater than 0 earlier and it is clearly less than pi over 2. So this quantity is going to be uh, tangent of Rn plus 1 minus Rn and if you write down the uh, tangent of difference of two angles, we get Rn plus 1 minus Rn, given the fact that tan of Rn plus 1 and tan of uh, and uh, Rn plus 1 are the same, 1 over Rn plus 1 times Rn. So here's what we get. Uh, we get that Rn plus 1 minus Rn minus pi is less than its tangent because it's in the first quadrant. And that quantity is less than Rn plus 1 minus Rn divided by 1 plus Rn times Rn plus 1. Now we can isolate this guy here and that would give us the final result. So let's uh, clear the de uh, denominator. We get Rn plus 1 minus Rn minus pi plus Rn plus 1 minus Rn minus pi times Rn times Rn plus 1 that is less than Rn plus 1 minus Rn. So this gets cancelled from the both sides and uh, then we can say Rn plus 1 minus Rn minus pi is less than pi over Rn times Rn plus 1. We know that Rn is more than n pi and we know that Rn plus 1 is more than n plus 1 pi. So this gives us 1 over n squared plus n pi, which is exactly the inequality that we wanted. So this is the second solution to this problem. And that brings me to the end of this video. So I will see you in the next video.